Now the videos I get asked to do the most are affordable watch videos. Watches under $200, $100. And I've done videos on the subject matter. They usually are always pretty big hits in terms of getting a lot of views. But if I had to just narrow things down into sticking to one collection of watches that I think cover a lot of different bases, you know, just stick to the Seiko 5 if you're looking for a mechanical, maybe an automatic watch uh, to start your, off your collection. And today I want to look at some different Seiko 5s, not the traditional Seiko 5s, so no Seiko SNK 800 series, uh, no Seiko sea urchins, but ones that I think aren't maybe as appreciated as much and I think should get a little bit more attention. So guys, let's jump into this video. Okay, so a lot of the models here, are, of course, are gonna have very similar specs for the most part, so I won't go into complete detail on that because a lot of them will be powered by a 7S26 movement for the most part, a very entry-level movement for Seiko. It doesn't look very pretty, 40-hour power reserve, not hacking or have manual winding capabilities, but good reliable movements for the money for the most part. And uh, hopefully this is a helpful guide for people that maybe don't have a lot of dollars to spend for a watch, or if you're part of a certain Reddit community and you probably know who I'm talking about if you're out there. <laughs> okay, so now for our first set of watches. When I think of the Seiko 5, I usually think of more field-oriented watches. I think of maybe perhaps some kind of hybrid diver watches with like 100 meters of water resistance. But I don't really think about dress watches, apart from like maybe the SNKL23, uh, a watch that blew up in popularity because I think the hype just around it being a very good value for money watch and looking very, uh, very good for the price. But, now, but I wanna now highlight some other watches that I think do a lot of the same things as that watch, look very similar in, in the same degree uh, with just styling, but can now be found for a little bit more affordable prices where you don't have to pay premiums of over $150 to get uh, you know, SNKL 23. So those watches are the SNK805 and the SNK801. So these watches, price of $70 for the most part, you can find them on the market, go up to about $100 mostly. And these, all these prices are going to be based around what I could currently find on the internet. Uh, so when making this video, if in the future you're watching this video and you're finding that you can't find these or at this price, uh, I'm sorry, a lot of these Seiko 5s are very volatile in the prices and, and their availability for that matter. So um, this is just based on when I'm making this video. Case size, 37 millimeters, thickness of 11 millimeters, powered by an automatic Seiko 7S26, water resistance of 30 meters, and has a hard lex crystal. So that SNK A01 coming in with a white dial is perhaps one of my favorite Seiko 5s in general, and I very rarely see it mentioned, as well as the blue dial A05, not being far behind. The watches are great examples of everyday style watches for someone who's looking for something maybe a bit more dressy compared to that of the many Seiko 5s mentioned. And I think you can find them for prices that haven't allowed the hype completely to get to them yet. So you can still find them in a pretty affordable uh, range here. But also there's a couple of different variants that you could look at too, very similar styling. The SNK601 and the SNK603. So a white and a blue dial variant of this similar case design, but they have interesting textured dials, which I think allow these to have a little bit more fun if you want something that's a little bit more out there compared to these very straightforward models. Okay, so now for these next watches, very similar in terms of just the overall dial design, but they have a more sporty aesthetic. And I just really like this overall dial layout uh, when looking at the entire Seiko 5 lineup of watches. And these watches are the SNK E01, the E03, and then the SNK D99. So when looking at these watches compared to that of the watches mentioned prior, you'll see very similar dial layout, hands and loom, but a more sporty package with a fixed outer bezel marked by the every five minute mark, which give off a sports watch feel. Price here, we're looking at $80 to around $110. Same movement, but right here, what we're gonna have is an upped water resistance of 50 meters. The E01 coming with a black dial and red accents with a second hand. The SNK E03 coming with that same black dial, but with a PVD style case. Probably be a little bit weary of the PVD quality here, honestly, uh, but cool looking timepiece and surprising to see that being used in some affordable Seiko watches. And then the SNK D99 that resembles that A05 greatly from earlier. And if you really want to ball out, you can go for the E06. So it's a gold colored version of these watches. But speaking of balling out, have you ever wanted to just kind of take your watch to the next level? Oh, oh you do? Well, that's a perfect way to present our sponsor today. 
myself, Teddy Balnasar. If you head over to our website, we've just added hundreds of different watch straps. I'm working with a ton of different manufacturers. My goal is to honestly create the largest online retail site for watch straps in the world. I think it's a good goal for myself and it's a great way to support the content. If you purchase anything there, we're gonna be adding more and more and more in the coming weeks, but we have some great selection available. NATO straps, leather NATOs, leather bands, rally straps. Anything that you probably think of, it's there. We also have metal bracelets as well and additional tools, and we're just going to keep adding it. Love to hear feedback as well and what you guys want to see. We both have affordable, uh, my own original line, and then also premium line as well. So go check that out if you are interested and want to take that Seiko 5 to the next level. Got to do it. A lot of these bracelets are bad on these things. Okay, so now I think we have a collection of Seiko 5 watches that walks right in the middle of our previous two mentions here as they're not as sporty and they're also not as dressy as the two options. So I think it's very good in between here. And that is the Seiko SNK 700 series. So the 789, 791, 793, and the 795, just to name a few here. So amongst the last couple options that I mentioned, I think these fall nicely in the middle of them in terms of their usability and finding a balance of dress versus casual. The watches have a case similar to that of the A05 and the A01 of earlier, but with more rounded hands and having a little bit more fun with the color accents. As an example, last summer I did a video talking about everyday watches for the summer, affordable everyday watches, and one of the ones I mentioned was the SNK 791, a light blue dialed watch that I heard no one talking about, and I gave it away for my 10,000 subscriber giveaway last June. The watches are much harder to find now. I don't know if I had any impact on this, but a great way of demonstrating just kind of the fun that comes with this line and coming in a value-packed package. That said, if you want something more simple, go for the SNK 89 with the white dial and the red accent hand, or the black dial with that same red accent. Really good options here. Prices are going to fluctuate between $70 to $100 traditionally. Uh, you can find the 8.9 and the 9.1 usually between $70 to $80, and those seem to be the ones most readily available. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I think the what a lot of people consider for the step before maybe the SKX or an alternative to the SKX is the Seiko Sea Urchin. 100 meters of water resistance, has that Blanc Pond 50 Fathoms kind of look, uh, and really interesting watch for the money. Uh, have skyrocketed a bit in price, so I wanted to offer up a kind of differing opinion, a differing style that I personally like a little bit more and have a lot of the similar specs that you would get with that Seiko Sea Urchin line. And I think you do have a little bit more options here and I think it does have a cleaner aesthetic in my opinion, which are the Seiko SRPB 89, 91, 93, 94, and 96. So out of all of these watches that make up this line, uh, they do fluctuate in price quite a bit amongst all of them, but the Seiko SRPB 89, which just happens to be my favorite looking, is actually usually the one that's most affordable, coming with this cool blue sunburst dial. And I, I just like the hollowed out hands and the loom plots on those hands. Really just clean looking design. These watches will fluctuate in price quite a bit, $120 to $200 on average for most of the references here mentioned. Case size is 43 millimeters, so a little bit bigger here, 12 millimeters when it comes to thickness, and we have 100 meters of water resistance as well. All right, so now for another affordable Seiko 5. Uh, we have a watch that honestly looks like the love child of another Seiko 5 and maybe the speedometer on your car, and that watch is the SNK K27. So this watch is a unique blue dial watch with a little bigger case size of 38 millimeters and some interesting design traits that again, just make it look like something that you would wear when you're you know, driving your car. However, it is a watch that I do not see mentioned frequently and is a funky one to consider. Price here, we're looking at between 60 and $90. These seem to be pretty readily available as well. A uh, case size of 38.5 millimeters, again, a uh, thickness of 10.5 millimeters, and you know, several, similar specs here, automatic Seiko 7S26 and 30 meters of water resistance. All right, now for our next watches here, we have a fun pick, mostly because the lugs in the case make it look like Batman, and that is the Seiko SNX S line. So I have found that the availability of the SNX S79, that's hard to say by the way, hard reference number to say, is a little bit harder to come by than others in this line. However, I think all of these are great options. You have a few different ones. You have the 7.3 with a white dial, which gives off a lot of that Rolex Oyster Perpetual vibe. Uh, with the dial, uh, with that white dial, and of course the loomed indices on the dial. So the 7.7 then comes with a blue sunburst dial, another great option, as well as the 7.5 with a gray dial, a color that I wish more brands would just feature on watches. Uh, and, but the other cool thing about these watches, they have that interesting looking bracelet. Uh, I've been able to handle a couple of these in person, and of course all Seiko 5 bracelets are not gonna be good. You're gonna wanna switch it out most likely, but with this actual case design, I think it does allow some availability for some more interesting strap options, and I think it would really look good on a metal bracelet. Okay, so now for our final watch. It made me realize how very little Seiko 5s there are with actual numerals on the dial. Not, not a lot to choose from. 
And this one I would say has more of a field wash look, kind of a hybrid field wash, dress wash look. And I kind of like it, it's different. And that is the Seiko SNK381. So this watch is unique for a couple reasons for me. But for one, it does embody what I would envision the little brother of the Sarks 039 to look like, with the hour numerals and the interesting loom-filled lace style hands. Price here, we're looking at between $60 and $90, case size of 38 millimeters, and very similar specs across the board compared to the other Seiko 5 mentioned. We're looking at 30 meters of water resistance and a 7S26 movement. And this is just one of those watches that I don't see mentioned frequently at all, and personally, I like the look of. Uh, and another really good option for those that are looking for maybe their first affordable mechanical watch. Well, alrighty guys, I hope you like this video. If you want me to continue this, there are so many Seiko 5s. I'm, I'm not kidding, there are hundreds and hundreds of Seiko 5s out there on the market. A lot of them are really obscure, uh, but I could probably continue this series if you wanted me to continue to do it, because in reality, if you're going to start out a collection, you want a mechanical watch, I think the Seiko 5 is a great first place to start if you don't want to spend over $100 for the most part. Um, but definitely give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see that. Subscribe, hit the bell icon as well. Also, big shout out to Taylor Stitch. They're a new partner of the channel. If you guys have been watching me for well over a year now, you know that when I started this channel, I talked a lot about, about men's style and fashion as well. And uh, they were one of the brands I always mentioned. So if you haven't been following me for a while, you probably are familiar with them. But if you're not, definitely head over to their website. They're one of the coolest outerwear brands, uh, I think, in the market today. They have a really cool thing they do called the Workshop, where you can actually fund new projects and new styles. So it's almost like a crowdfunding approach to apparel and a design. And then in addition, they also always try to source ethically sourced materials and really good quality materials at that. So I want to give them a shout out. But wearing, when you see me kind of wearing uh, clothes and, and wondering where I get things, that's going to be where it's from uh, for now on. So I'll leave a link in the description. You also can get a discount if you go there as well. And also use the link in the description to go to Boz Watches to get an authentic uh, and a timeless timepiece. And any purchase also supports the channel if you use that link in the description. Really happy to have them as a partner because it helps really grow this audience and get my hands on pieces that I would never be able to otherwise. And then finally, if you want to join our watch giveaway, fill out the watch giveaway form and then follow me on Instagram. That's where I make all the announcements. So just do those two things and you'll be all up to date there. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well and I'll see you all very soon.